Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. And it is time for a Way Back Wednesday. This little one was inspired by a trip to the Maker Fair where they were taking little tiny toothbrushes and turning them into little bristle bots. So I hope you enjoy this Way Back Bristly Wednesday. Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. Today I have a really fun project that I was inspired to create when I went to the Maker Faire in May this year. And uh, it's, a, it's called a bristle bot. And basically all it is is a toothbrush, a little tiny motor, and a battery, but it makes a big effect. And I'm gonna teach you how to make one right now. For this project, you are going to need a 2.5 to 3.7 volt microcell phone vibrator motor. You're going to need a three volt battery, scissors, toothbrush, duct tape, wire cutters, exacto knife, putty, and googly eyes. So the first thing you do is you take one of these batteries. I, I found this in my bathroom. Connor! Hey! Nice to see you, what a surprise! Hey, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, this is where he went, you know, I wonder where he got to. Where did you find him? In the shower. Oh. Oh. Well, they have a way of moving pretty quickly and pretty pretty fast. I'm glad you're here because you can make it with me. Oh, you're not going to make it with Frankie? Oh, no. She had to go to soccer practice. So... <laughs> I remember what I said. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you have band practice. I thought you were busy. I do. I would have... Otherwise, I would have had you come. Well, admit you were busy. All right. So we're going to get started. Do you want to help me? Yes. Okay, cool. So first thing first, take out one of those batteries. I'm so excited to see you. Hmm. I know, seriously. Okay, so your battery is going to have a positive side and a negative side. And it's very easily marked. On one side, it's got a plus sign. That's positive. The other sign has nothing. So you know that's negative because it has nothing. It's negative. Or my mood when Frankie's here. I'll make sure that Frankie doesn't show up when you're here. Please don't show up in this video. <laughs> so this is our little motor, and this is just... Oh, it's so tiny. I know, so cute, right? So these are, and of course I have a link in the, you know, up above and down below where you can find these, but these came from Amazon. I got 10 of them for, you know, a few dollars. And they're just little cell phone motors. And what you do, now watch this, check this out. If you put the red side, right, to the positive, and the black side to the negative, Watch what happens. Can you see it? Can you feel it vibrate? I know, pretty cool, right? So the watch. That excite me. I know, it's, it's totally exciting. So watch this. We take a tiny little piece of duct tape, right? And we're gonna put it on the black side. The dark side. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> and just tape it to the negative side, right? And it just needs to be a little piece of tape, right? So then watch this. We don't even have to add anything to it to get a moving bot. That's what's so cool about this. So we're just gonna take our little piece of tape, right? And touch the top wire to the positive side. Let's get that, whoop, get it over like that. And, you know, this is where I need your little tiny fingers as opposed to my big adult ones. There we go, okay, watch. A lot. I know, right? Wait, so I have to get it over a little bit more because my fingers are so big. Okay, let's see. There we go. Right, so even just as it is, it's a bot, right? That could entertain me for probably hours. <laughs> but here's the thing. We want to make it a little bit more exciting, right? So what we're going to do is use a toothbrush. So first thing first, this is a pair of wire cutters. Will you just cut the toothbrush right there? My dentist, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we're putting it to a good use. Now, the other thing that we want to do, this... Did you it, use that? <laughs> only once. Okay. So, so now here's the deal with this. Wait, what? See, oh. <laughs> see how it's straight across? Yeah. We want a tiny little bit of a tilt to the front. So we're just going to use our scissors and cut kind of like that. Just a little bit. Is that so it moves it's, forward? It's, so, it's supposed to make it move forward, exactly. And now we can give it a little personality by adding some eyes. You want to choose some eyes? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Can I make them of different sizes? Absolutely. So it looks crazy. You can make it however you want to. 
Now, one of the things that I have learned about these guys is it's totally fine to glue down. Oh, you glue them. Oh. Well, I don't glue them. I actually use a putty so that I can remove them if I need to. The eyes or just that? Oh, no, just this part. Oh, okay. But what I found, it's, it's best to leave your motor kind of free, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So let's hot glue the eyes on real quick. Okay. <laughs> it's shaking around over there. You want to glue those on? Very carefully. Very carefully. Got to make sure we get a nice, good connection here. Okay, and once you've got those eyes on, what we're going to do is, ooh, very cute. Okay, now we're going to hook this puppy up. So, will you grab me a new, let's use this one. I'm not fond of that. Okay, so we're going to take this one and put it, the red goes to the positive, black goes to the negative. So I'm going to put that one on that side. And here's the red side. Put that on there. Okay, now we're just gonna take a little bit of putty and put the putty. Yeah, you can totally be doing your own there. Uh-oh, this is how it ended ah. up in your shower. Oh, that's what it was. I have to <laughs> put it there. See, look at it go. <laughs> I actually thought it was a real spider for a second. Well, they are kind of creepy too, especially when they're moving around. They're like, yeah. Okay, so what's fun with this though is once you get the kind of basic hang of it, then you start playing with it and you can do all kinds of versions of it. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I just took a little putty, right? And put it underneath the battery, right? And then you just let it go. And then off it goes. You can give it a little. Now I created a little stadium for him. You wanna see my stadium? Yes. Dee, 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 dee. That's amazing. So, of course, it's just pool noodles, foam core, and duct tape, because that's sort of the story of my life. How do you get the bat how do you get it to stay on? Oh, so just a little bit of so you got the did you do the positive? Oh, you got it. Oh. I think you know what it is? I'll tell you truthfully, I think I don't like these batteries. I'm realizing that I don't think these batteries are as good as my other battery, like that one. So I'm gonna get you another battery. In the meantime, do you wanna put this one together and see sure. if he can battle that one? So you just hook these guys up. So these are well, other versions. Uh-huh, he's got a different motor. So see, the fun thing is that once you get the hang of it, you can start buying different motors and stuff like that on. Make massive ones. Mm -hmm. And you can just start making big ones. Like, look, look, there's a double. Right? You okay, want to put that one in? And then this guy, this guy I really like. He's just a little tiny bot. He's just got, he's got pipe cleaner legs. And they're off. Do, 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 do. Oh, this guy. Just play with them, practice, do mix and match. I mean, the 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 mechanics, the mechan mechanics, the mechanics of it are really pretty easy. Make sure that when in your little motor, you have the red goes to the positive side of your battery and the black to the negative side and then basically have fun and create. Don't tell your dentist. And don't tell your dentist. No! Ah, he flipped over. He still works though. <laughs> For more electrifying ideas, come and check us out at soapy-world.com. I see what you did there. <laughs>